On October 29, 2024, South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA, announced a strategic decision to expedite the deployment of its low-altitude missile defense, LAMD system, moving its operational timeline to between 2029 and 2033. This proactive measure, revealed during a National Defense Ministry Committee meeting, underscores South Korea's growing concerns over heightened tensions on the Korean Peninsula, particularly in light of North Korea's escalating provocations. The LAMD system, which was officially launched in 2022, aims to bolster South Korea's air defense against both missile threats and artillery fire from the north. With its primary focus on protecting critical areas, especially the capital city of Seoul, the LAMD system is poised to rival and potentially exceed the effectiveness of Israel's Iron Dome, as stated by DAPA. The system includes essential components such as radar, an engagement control center, launchers, and interceptor missiles designed to minimize the impact of long-range artillery attacks from North Korea. In conjunction with the LAMD system, DAPA has approved a second phase of enhancements to the existing Patriot Defense System, which includes the acquisition of the Advanced Patriot Advanced Capability 3, Pac-3. Unlike earlier models, which relied on fragmentation warheads, the Pac-3 utilizes more agile and precise hit-to-kill interceptors, significantly improving its effectiveness. Each Pac-3 launcher can now support up to 16 missiles, an increase from the four missiles per launcher in a previous Pac-2 model, coupled with enhanced radar and tracking capabilities. These advanced defense systems will complement South Korea's current military assets, including the U.S.-provided Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THAAD system, which intercepts missiles in their terminal phase upon re-entry. The deployment of THAAD in South Korea in 2017 faced considerable backlash from China due to its sophisticated radar system, which can monitor military activities in the region. This led to a series of economic and cultural sanctions from China, prompting former President Moon Jae-in to assure that no further THAAD deployments would take place on South Korean territory. Recent events have only amplified these tensions. North Korea has engaged in provocative actions, including launching debris-laden balloons toward Seoul in retaliation against South Korean activists' propaganda balloons. Given that Seoul is situated a mere 55 kilometers from a heavily fortified demilitarized zone, DMZ, the threat of artillery strikes from the north remains a critical concern, especially with thousands of artillery systems positioned near the border. In parallel to the LAMD system, South Korea is also advancing the development of its long-range surface-to-air missile, LSAM system, which aims to intercept missiles at altitudes between 50 to 60 kilometers. This system is designed to integrate seamlessly with the Pac-3 and Chonggung-2 systems, establishing a robust multi-layer defense against North Korean missile threats. Moreover, the South Korean government has initiated significant updates to its K-2 Black Panther main battle tank project. To enhance self-reliance and reduce dependence on foreign technology, the next 150 K-2 tanks will feature domestically developed transmissions by SNT Dynamics and locally manufactured engines. Notably, this new transmission system is also set to be exported to Turkey for use in the Altai battle tanks. Since the onset of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, South Korea has emerged as a key supplier of military equipment, particularly to European nations experiencing heightened defense demands. By strengthening its capabilities and promoting self-reliance in defense production, South Korea aims to position itself as a significant player on the international military stage. As the situation on the Korean peninsula continues to evolve, South Korea's commitment to advancing its defense capabilities reflects a broader strategy to safeguard national security while navigating the complex geopolitical landscape of East Asia.